You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Hey, everybody. A big welcome to 2018. We made it. <laughs> here we are. Hey, it's New Year's Day. I'm up here in the, the studio at Maverick Method uh, World Headquarters, and I wanted to share some stuff about 2017, some of the best episodes out there, and make sure you haven't missed them, especially if you're a new listener. Or even if you're an experienced listener, you've got to check out these episodes in case you haven't heard them. Also, at the end of the podcast, I'm going to be talking about the course. It's live. January 1st, it is live. Actually, I put it up yesterday. But you're all busy, you know, planning your new year, coming up with your resolutions. I know how you salespeople are thinking. But now it is live, and I'm going to put the link to the course and to a video on YouTube that describes it in more detail you can go check it out. It's what I've been talking about, you know, for the last month or so. It is in beta, so I'll describe it at the end of the podcast so I don't waste your time. Okay, but I'm, I'm five episodes that you got to check out. And there, there was a lot. I got to tell you, at least 30%, I think, were really gold this year that helped me. So I know they helped you. And the, the numbers and the downloads certainly reflect that. The feedback that I've gotten from you reflects that. I have deleted a few of the episodes over the year that I either felt um weren't that good or the person didn't turn out to be the real person you know but that that's changing 2018 all guests are going to be thoroughly vetted i'm not going to waste any of your time or mislead you in any way or self-promoters okay number one and these are no particular order but uh, lee barrett joined us again march 11th so i don't go by i don't number the episodes because it's like there's a date that's the number march 11th lee bartley he his story is so compelling why because i've seen him just blow up on social and and start his own consulting business he, he wrote a great book um number one salesperson is a great interesting book it's really about career strategy more than anything else including sales but he, he knows how to deal with people, and there's no magic to it. It's just counterintuitive. It's kind of what the course is all about, about how to start the conversation and get the meeting. But definitely check out Lee Barrett. He was been on twice. Um, I've kept both of them up. I should have got the date for the first one, but the first one was in um, 2016, I believe, in October. And, and basically, he approached me, and you know, I get approached all the time, and he, he sent a book, and I misplaced. That was my mistake. I checked it. I found the book. I read the book. i got to have you on. We really clicked. You know, it's just something about salespeople who, who've, you know, it's like people have been through war together. They know they know that bonding of, you know, what really takes to win, and this is what I'm trying to bring you this year. Okay, number two. Kevin Jans. Now, Kevin Jans is a longtime listener, and he wanted to be on the podcast because what he had told me was, Brian, you know, I listened to the podcast and I didn't apply it, but then once I started applying it, my business blew up. I started listening to you. I started mapping out my sales process, and I was getting the results. So listen to somebody who's actually kind of followed the podcast, applied it, and then got the result that we all want. So, you know, I, I am not trying to sell you anything. Specifically, if you don't not interested in the course. I, I get it. It's okay. I don't want anybody to buy it who's not into it because part of it is I want your feedback. I want to spend, you know, two 30 minute sessions with you that's included in the course. So I'm not making any money on the course. I'm spending time on the course and that content is going to be part of the course. And then I'm, when the, once the course goes in production, I'm going to have office hours, meaning it's going to be like a group call, you know, twice maybe once twice a month and you can send in, in questions we'll go through the questions go through examples i want it to be interactive i want it to be all about you and get the results that you want we're in 2018 okay You're, we're gonna get quotas soon right they're coming down territory changes are coming down you know this is gonna happen kickoff meetings they're gonna happen right and, and you know what happens management busies you in q1 and then march comes and they go hey what have you been doing I've been attending your silly ass meeting for the last two weeks. That's what I've been doing. And, and I don't know where you are listening to this, but it's pretty damn cold here in America. You know, it's freezing. But anyways, check that out. That was May 27th. Now, I'll put these dates in the show notes so that you can check in for each of these. But you got to review these. Now, a lot of people would just like repost them. Uh, you know, I don't want to fill up your your phone with 
with episodes that you're not totally committed to. But you got to check out um, Kevin Jans. Because here is somebody who's really done the Maverick method. And people say, oh, I have my own. It is your own method. The point is to really get it out of your head, break the elements down. Because every deal has the elements. And I, I, every salesperson I talk to is like, oh, yeah, well, each deal has this, this. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's map it out. Let's prevent the bad things from happening. Make sure the good things are happening. Have direction, momentum, and control. Every deal has it. Whether you take control or not is up to you. Whether the direction's going into the wall or not, that's up to you. But if you take control over it and keep the momentum going and you know the direction it has to go, the deal's going to happen. It's natural. Okay, the next one, June 3rd, Eddie Yoon. Now, Eddie, he if you're selling services, you know, complex, high price services, you got to check out this one, June 3rd. Big deals. Now, again, here's a career sales guy, but not the bag carrier, like a practice manager at a large consulting company. So he had to get into big companies to sell services. Pretty hard, right? You don't just cold call, hey, let me send you a proposal. No, you have to get to know people. You have to build rapport with people. You have to get the meeting and start the conversation. And I'm, I'm sure you're getting a theme here of what great salespeople do. And this, this is going to be unlimited career opportunity. Everyone's talking about AI reducing the number of jobs. B2B salespeople are going to be in so demand. Why? Because guess what we saw in 2017? I saw a lot of companies go away. Why? The only reason a company goes away is because they don't have any revenue. They don't have enough revenue to cover their costs. That's the only reason. And who gets the revenue? Salespeople get the revenue. Okay, the inbound order takers, their job's going away. Sorry. Anything that be replaced by a website will be replaced by a website or a bot or whatever they're going to call it today. But new things, all these AI things that are coming out, someone's got to sell them, right? Somebody's got to get out there and get to the people who need them and explain them. Because most of it is, it's, you know, calling it AI is very generous. <laughs> it's really just software, just technology in most cases. But June 3rd, he goes through how do you do that. It was a great guy, really fun interview. Uh, he approached me. I, I really enjoyed the conversation. And there's a lot more than these five, but I, I, I try, had to keep it to five because I know if I, I say, okay, the top 50 episodes, people will be like, oh, Brian, get over yourself. Okay, the next one, June 27th, Steve Woods from Nudge.ai. Now, Nudge, they, they went on this series this year that every salesperson has got to check their blog out because what's it about is how people are making buying decisions. And guess what? No one's making them off of, cold, pitchy emails, phone calls, social. They're not. They're making it off of word of mouth, reputation, and getting to know people and understanding the problem. You know, people call it education, but education is too soft of a term. You got to be persuasive. You got to, you know, stir up that pain, make people aware of the problem that they don't even know they have. You know, there was this conversation on LinkedIn this week with this um, IT manager goes, if and when I'm interested, I will search it out. And you're like, get over yourself. How do you know? There are so many things in the world today that will make your life better. And that's why you listen to podcasts. It's like, are you listening to this to find out about Pipe Drive or Nudge or Covideo or Prezi? No, but I make you aware of them. And if they fit your need, they solve a problem for you, you will check them out. But you didn't know about some of them before. You know, and a lot of times I get these emails. I go, Brian, thank you for telling me about pipe drive. It's like it's so simple and easy and inexpensive. I love it. Nudge, I didn't even know that existed. Prezi, I'm using that better than PowerPoint. Video emails, I didn't know about that. That's the point of the podcast. Anybody who thinks, oh, when I need it, right? How many things do you need today? I mean, I, I need a lot of stuff. You know, I'd love to have a thermal running suit that I could go out in nine degree weather and run for, you know, an hour. But I, I, I don't think that exists. Yeah, they got stuff to keep you warm, but not that warm. 
but not just series. Now, th this episode is great because it's about him and the CTOs and how he makes decisions. But what's really good is like find on their blog that's, you know, they got marketing people, sales leaders, CEOs. You understand how the person buys. So now you have to come up with your sales strategy to match that in your market space. How do those people buy? How do they find out about a problem? Who do they listen to? Who are they going to trust? Who do they know? like and trust that little sequence that we all go through and none of us will really admit to it and uh, number five ryan o'donnell on september 12th okay th this one i think was the most popular episode this year and guess what it was called how to get a meeting with anybody now now ryan and i have known each other for a couple of years uh he came on the podcast a couple years ago we kind of hit it off he came out with a new product and um, he did a great blog post that I really liked, obviously, because the number one problem I'm hearing from everybody is how do I get cold new meetings? How do I get new deals? Not the ones that are coming to me, the ones that I want. You know, remember when you were single, the person you want, not the Sadie Hawkins thing with they, they pick you. The ones that pick you typically are not the ones you want. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> you know, the ones you want may not want you, but we have to entice them. So Ryan talks, we t both of us dig into the elements of how to get to meeting. So it's kind of like uh, the beginnings of the course. But the course, let me dive into the course. Oh, wait, I got three more. I got three bonus hacks. Now, if you, what I learned and what I heard consistently this year, last year, 2017, were the three things that would separate the great players in sales from the mediocre players. Number one, what I heard constantly was focus. Now this thing, and that was pretty much my thing when I got into sales, it's like, it's so easy to get distracted in sales, especially today. You got all these toys, all these things that your company wants you to do. But believe me, mo most sales reps today, I think would be busy all day long, you know, entering data you know, doing reports, but that's not the job. Your job is to sell, right? And you can have pretty reports and everything, but you're, you're going to get canned if you don't sell. So focusing on what really matters on your customers that are going to close because it's our time. Our time is the only commodity that we can't buy more of. We can't, we can replace, we can delegate things, we can automate things, but it's our time. Our time is so critical. So focus is clearly number one. Number two is coachability. And this, this isn't just coachability from what your manager suggests you do or the feedback you get. This is your own. You should be your hardest coach. You hear any great athlete, any great artist of any kind, they're the hardest critic. And you have to be able to get yourself ready for the answer to appear. You know, the saying I did a whole podcast on, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, meaning that you have to get yourself ready. And this is kind of the week where people get themselves ready. New Year's resolutions. Number one is what? Lose weight. Okay. You know, everybody can get a little bit healthier, right? And, and people last for about two or three days. The gyms are packed the whole week, you know, <laughs> triple the membership. And by the middle of uh, January, I, just, I, I, you know, I, I went to this gym down the street from my house and, and, and I almost avoided that first week in January. It was mayhem, right? But it just wait two weeks and it was back to normal because people don't really get it. So get yourself ready, get yourself ready to, to learn, to perfect your skill, Understand that you are an artist, that you practice. And the way you practice is to get feedback from someone else. You're not going to see your, your, your golf swing. You're not going to hear your music. You're not going to eat your food the way other people interpret it. Meaning that you are, you have, you can have the science. It's like the course. That's why I'm having it be uh, interactive as opposed to you just take it. And, you know, because people don't typically don't finish them right? But I want you to finish them. I want you engaged in this. I want to help you get more meetings, get more conversation starters and get the meeting. And I'm telling you, I, I've been doing this workshop for a couple of years and every time you, 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 you tell them exactly what to do and it's just a little bit off. It's not that they're bad people. They're just a little off. It's very hard to change your view and your approach about your profession. 
very hard for me, very hard for all of us. And, and in today's world, it's happening so fast. And I'm going to do a post on this about Darwin, that our, our, our world is changing so fast that we can't keep up. And, and, what we're, and what's being taught out there is what worked 20 years ago. And what people are saying, oh, you're just not doing a little bit. No, no, the whole thing doesn't work anymore. You have to do it differently. And not just, I mean, and a whole different approach needs to be applied. Because at the end of the day, we're still human beings. And that part of us isn't changing that fast. We're not adapting that fast. But the technology is kind of pushing us into doing bad things. We're automating bad behavior. You know, in the same post where the guy said, oh, if and when I want, I'll go, don't bother calling me. Well, the whole world would come to a screeching halt if nobody convinced anyone else to do something, right? We, we would all sit around, you know, oh, I know I need the flux capacitor. And you don't know what the flux capacitor is. So we've got to have, we have to still sell because everyone's going to go out of business if no one sells. And we have to do it in a humane way, a humanistic, an effective way. Because guess what? The world's changing. And pretty soon, you know, a lot of the stuff that um, we've tried always gets overrun by technology. I mean, we saw it with the phone. We saw it with the drop-by. You know, I don't know if you've ever gone by a business now. There's a security guard at every business. You can't just go into a company, talk to a reception. There's a guy with a gun there. You know, it's like there's, a, there's like a sign that says no solicitation. That means you, right? And then all of a sudden the phone, and the phone was magical. People would pick up the phone because you thought it was an emergency or you thought it was a friend. That's the only reason the phone rang. Today, the only reason the phone rings is someone you either know or someone you don't know. And the person you don't know wants your money. Right. And, you know, they may have something good or they may not. Most likely they don't. If you we a caller ID, because you can now tell we have voicemail. This is a gatekeeper. It's like all these crazy posts. How to get around the gatekeeper. The gatekeepers, I caller ID and voicemail. It's not some poor, you know, person there. Oh, yeah. Another sales trip. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let him know. Oh, he's in a meeting. Yeah. When will he be out? Never. Right. So it's like we've got to come up with a better way. OK, number two is coachability. Get yourself to the state where you if, you, if you're not making your number, if, you, if you're not in the right company, if you're not selling the right thing to the right people, we got to figure this out. And, you know, that's that's part of this course. And I'm going to have a bunch of courses this year. And, and I'm probably going to turn it into like a, a membership type thing. So it's, a, so it's a, like a long term thing, like six months to 12 months where there's office hours. There's tons of your cases, your use case, not these made up things from the 90s. Number three is listening. This, when will salespeople, if, they, if you could ever have a skill, listening, you know, people say empathy. Empathy is listening. The people who really know how to listen and it's like, and you hear me on the in the interviews. I sometimes interrupt. I still have to focus on my listening skills. We all do because you have to become a great listener. And you know, we talk about this with the Gong.io research. And you know, if you're not checking out their blog posts, this is the number one killer of deals. Number one, not listening. Talk to listen ratio is way off. Okay, those are number the top three. I'm going to put the dates and the the guests on the of the top five in the show notes and now here's the course this is the course okay now it's in beta that means it's a little rough it's a little incomplete i'm adding content to it daily um so you you so it's at basically half price of what it will be when it's in production probably in 30 to 60 days i've got a couple people who've already signed up i'm going to cap it probably around 20 because i'm given one-on-one time this is not office hours this is one-on-one two 30-minute sessions. So I'm probably going to delete this episode in the next 30 days. So you, if, you, if you're interested, sign up. Check out the video on my YouTube channel, Maverick Method on YouTube. I'll put the link to both the course and the video. The video gives you about a 10-minute description of it with little pictures, real pretty me talking type stuff. But the course is all about how do you get the conversation started with a cold person in the B2B space. So who's right for this? If you listen to the podcast and you dig what I am saying and it matches how you sell and the market you sell to, because that's critical, 
because you know if, if your market is different if you're selling to mom and pops or you know, solopreneurs or consumers it, it probably isn't for you and it, it doesn't focus on just social it focuses on email telephone social pretty much every channel and we could even do a drop by on how to do a drop by with this approach it's very humanistic it reduces or eliminates rejection it's been field proven for the last two years i've evolved it i'm sick of traveling and giving it <laughs> in person oh i'm telling you oh imagine like uh oh, waiting on the tarmac to get onto a plane today it's freezing out there sick of traveling so i want to do it online but to be successful online you have to make it interactive so that's going to be one-on-one -on -one, two 30-minute sessions which basically is giving away the course um if, you, if you're not interested or you're not sure about it check out the materials if it it's not a rip-off course if you're not interested don't don't sign up don't sign up just to support the podcast uh, that's not the type of person i want i want somebody who really wants to get new cold meetings at scale and the outcome of this the, the result is that it becomes a system that you can i'll show you how to automate it and then how to outsource it to give you a sense i've automated about 80 percent of this so it seems completely personalized and authentic and the results i'm getting are phenomenal you know you, you would be shocked at the, the, the minimum amount of staff i get that the interviews the conversations i get going with this system it's crazy effective. Now, check it, check the links out. See if you like it. Now, I dropped this um, January 1st, 2018. Um, so it, this episode will probably stay live. So if, you, if you're interested, go sign up. I need you to self-qualify, though, you know, because I, I can't spend, you know, half an hour explaining each person on the phone. It, it, you, you will know if this is for you. So go check it out. The links are in the show notes. Thanks for listening and Happy New Year. Let's make 2018 a great year. I've got some great stuff, some stuff that I've, I've already got ready to, to drop. I'm going to be dropping a lot of stuff this week. Uh, make sure you're checking out the B2B Revenue Leadership Podcast. That one's blowing up. I'm probably going to double down on that one this year. Go to two episodes per week. I'm thinking about that. Not sure. It's a lot of work. But, you know, the listenership is up and it's cr cruising. Um, really appreciate your feedback. Connect up with me on LinkedIn. Please share my content on LinkedIn. If you see it, just give it a like and a comment and a share, would you? Thank you. Happy New Year. I want to know the truth. Because deep down in places that you don't talk about are team and management meetings. You want me on that call. You need me on that call. We use words like fleet view, volume control, total cost of ownership. We use these words as a backbone of a life spent negotiating something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor inclination to explain myself to people who rise and sleep under the very blanket of revenue that I provide and then question the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, may I suggest you pick up a phone and make some sales calls. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you're entitled to. Did you expense the lap dances? I did the job I was hired. Did you expense the lap dances? You're goddamn right I did.